I thought maybe Sennheiser was too good. It's a squad realistic war sounds from that YouTube video. Um, I thought maybe they were too good because oh my, God, I fix it. my, my seat is, it's gotta be upright so I could properly yell. Cause everyone's like, Zeus, you only make reviews good. You don't, you don't hate anything. Au contraire. I only make good reviews on things I like. And I like lots of things. But um, somebody sent me these. Uh, a user sent me these. Because he says, oh, PC38X. You know, the drop PC38X. Link in the description. Yeah, well, those are actually just the GSP500s in a different, cheaper shell. And so he sent me the GSP500s. And... If the origins of the PC38X are this, then I have to give way more credit to Drop. I just have to give way more credit to Drop, because Drop fucking knocked it out of the piss arc. I only have the 5X6s here. The 38Xs are somewhere in my massive cave of fuck. Um, I actually thought about buying these when they first came out, because, I mean, look at this. It's, the only way to world it is absurdity. And the reason I started this video with, you know, maybe Sennheiser's too good is I thought maybe they tuned this specifically, perfectly, Germanly, um, for games. I'm like, like, but, but I played a couple games and just re reaffirming myself on the Squad Realistic War Sounds audio clip. Even the audio from a game doesn't sound very good in these. Um, and that's that's being gentle because it doesn't sound very good. It's like, oh, it's a little bit it's a little bit too narrow. It doesn't really have the separation of the imaging that I would expect. Or, or and the ba there's sub bass here at least somewhere in there is like a woomph. There's at least a woomph. But I usually test with um, music, and I know that's not the specific purpose of this. In fact, I'm pretty sure maybe 50% of the headsets that are sold will never hear a single track separate from just like gaming, bro. Broke game, bro. Broke game, bro. Um, but let me inform you people who are just the game bros. You can assess a headphone. I'm going to do a whole video on you know, how you assess a headphone for different genres of use. But if it sounds like shit on music, the odds of it sounding really good in gaming is still pretty fucking low. So the design is absurd. It, it's got... Like, I don't know what it is with the fucking gaming headsets that they have to, like... It's kind of like when women wear padded shoulders on their, like, dress, you know, shirts. Like, to give them broader shoulders. A, who wants that? And, and as a woman or a man, who wants that? And B, why? That's what this looks like. Because that's... I'm wearing it on my head. You ready? I'm taking it off. I'm sliding it off my head at the right. That's what it looks like on my head. What the fuck is that shape? Looks like something out of a cartoon. And, like, I, I get that gamers are insane and, you know, they'll buy anything with RGB. And this doesn't have LEDs, so they had to do something else. I actually do want to point out a very... Uh, before I get to the rest of the absurdity of this, these are really fucking nice. Do you know what these are? Because these should be in other headphones. Ship 9500 slash 9600 slash... Uh, well, there's a lot of headphones I could use. A clamp adjustment... It slides an extra piece of plastic down the, the thing to make it either harder or easier to clamp. That's ingenious! Sennheiser! Why the fuck is this feature locked into a gaming headset? W raise your hand in the comments if you're like, you know what? This headphone clamps too little. That's perfect. Or this headphone clamps too much. Ugh. Instantly in other headphones, but nope, nope, only the gaming headsets. We'll just test it out. And it's got little detents too, so you could. Oh, God. So, we. I don't even know how to start. This is a water the plants. Water the plants. I have to water my plants. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I water my plants. And I had that set to only say it upstairs, but then I found the option in Alexa to make it say it on every device. So now my whole house just bellowed with water the plants. Um, it's got this chunky, chunky monkey boy over here, which is the slider. And... Uh, 
Like it doesn't house anything. We'll get to the microphone. It doesn't house anything. This could hold an entire, you could put double A batteries in this and then have an entire DAC amp on this side if you wanted to. That's how thick that is. And then there's this. So they're, they're going for like the look where like they don't want to interrupt the, the cup. That's like why you would go to the back like they do with the Neumann NDH20s which are way better headphones, so this won't close headphones. Um, but they bring out this, like, metal arm. So this is a metal arm, and then that articulates like that, and then it, it, it articulates slightly like that. And they fit comfortably. Like, this system works for comfort, but the bulk it adds to the whole unit is absurd. And I understand they did it here because they wanted to put this, this is their system, the one thing that might be recognizable from the PC38X of this is, is that, with the click on and off mute function. Um, this is obviously n nicer looking. Still fucking fuck and fuck this two and a half millimeter with a ground shield that goes way up there, Morty. So you can't use a custom cable unless you like really, really want to. Um, and I mean, the stock cable is not terrible. It goes to the split, to the Y split for microphone and thing. The microphone is the same as the PC38X. It's not like beneficial at all. So, I mean, you can count that. So it gets, it's got this weird shape. It's got these bulky fucking thick components. By the way, I do like the double headband piece. I, I that's a, that's an actual benefit. Like, like the whole top of this is not terrible. I just wish it didn't terminate and being completely flat. Because when you put it on your head, hold on, I'm going to put my thumbs there. Wait, 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 there. Ugh. Actually, that's not bad. That's how much of your head touches it. So the, all these pads past my thumbs, all this, none of this touches your head unless you're Bart Simpson. Then it might touch your head. So mm, ergonomics need to be accounted for, Sennheiser. They're not uncomfortable, but I feel like if you're going to put um, eight inches of pad, seven inches of pad, more than three inches of pad should touch my head. More than 50%. How's that? Either make the shape that way or make the pad super thick on the end so it like reaches down. That's what Dakoni Nuggets is for. Dakoni Nuggets, see us in the description. Show people what it's like. So you get past the weird looks and the bulk. And then you get two different pads. Hold on. Let me, let me try a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let me lower that. I had the knob down slightly because that's the volume knob. Again, PC38X has a knob. Here's a knob. Here's a big ass knob with no indicator on it. So of course I picked it up and went, well, this is a little bit, that. ah! It is very nice to spin though. I'm gonna just say this, it's like, like it's creamy and buttery. That is a beautiful knob. I would take this volume knob on, on, on the Flux more than the Flux has it. Just like, mmm. Mm. And they don't indicate it at all, which I respect because if you own these headphones, you know what the fuck it is. No one else should be fucking looking at labels. Volume up, swing. Sennheiser logo, GSP 500. Oh, we got to talk about the other models because there's apparently a 600 and a 670 also. And I don't know if they're any better than this, but they got to be because it's pretty bottom barrel. Um, comes with two pairs of pads, the pleather ones which is what I originally tried. And actually they're pleather with a cloth interior and then the fully cloth ones, which are way more reminiscent of the PC38X and do a way, way better job of making these headphones sound less shit. Headset, sound less shit. Put it on for a second. Let's get out of squirt. Vachet is arped. So, It almost isn't stereo. Like, it doesn't sound stereo. And it's not the adapter I'm using. And it's not the flux amp. By the way, FA10, which is like the super high powerful one. So we're on low gain at one o'clock. If you can't tell, these are also an open acoustic gaming headset. And I have, I have some shit to say about that too, because usually when you look at an open headphone, um, the tendency is to make it open. Whereas you look at this and go, huh? Because tucked back here, behind this thing that's right against it, is an opening. It's, not, it's probably like one and a half square inches. I don't know what that is in centimeters. Let me take a stab at it. You Europeans can yell at me. Let's say that's um, nine square centimeters. 
All right, 10. Wanna go 10? We're an even 10 because of the angle? 10 square centimeters or one and a half square inches. And so that means you're automatically firing into a not open cavity because the driver's, the driver's biased a little bit up towards this, but it's still like here. So you're catching it in the, in the balls where all this shit is, this shit and this shit are here. And then you're reflecting it into the, a thing behind it, which usually if you take an open headphone, you put your hands closer to the openings, you fuck up the sound. And I am pretty sure the things I don't like about how this sound are because there's just stuff behind the driver. I bet you the PC, PC38X, if you recall, didn't have that problem. PC38X was just, I don't have it here. I can't find the fucking PC38X. Where are you? Come. It doesn't work. Piece of the right next was an open back. It was an actual open back, which is this shit attached to it, smaller form. So, I mean, I think Sennheiser gimped itself with this. Going for the, oh my God, I'm a cyborg from the future. Come. C-U-M, come. I'm a cyborg from the future, come. That's 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 their fucking slogan on the box. It's on the box somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, I'll... That's the best way to describe the sound, because it's like if you took a decent headphone, a decent, like, open-back headphone, and then just covered the whole fucking back of the driver with no concern for, like, the, the bounding box rebound. It's just all over the place. And I will occasionally get to a song or track that I absolutely know is high-quality recording. And it just sounds weak and weird. Even on the better pads, which are these, which... I cannot stress how bad these pads make this sound. But like we're on Evangelion, it's like, oh, that's a, that's a nice Spanish like guitar. Just ding, ding, ding. It, you can't fuck that up. Like that's a great test. It's just like a single instrument being strummed. Is it strung? St strung? What the fuck do you do to a guitar? Strum? You strum, right? I really should learn music things. If you if you just record a perfect like bing, one of those, you can put on a thousand headphones and judge that headphone based on how that handles it. And these do not handle it well. It sounds so artificial. Like I could hear the detail, like there's a hand moving on this on the string and everything, but then it hits and it's got no fucking levels of like, oh, that's that's not good. It's just not good. It's got no levels of quality. Zero. It sounds like, it sounds like all the, like my shit's being pushed in. Like, uh, like, uh, because of the, of the thing. If I could rip these apart and just open up those drivers and just have it like, like HG 600, just hold it on my ears or PC 38X. Maybe, maybe there'd be a chance for it to live. Yeah. Marantz's super audio CD rip. So like the pinnacle of quality just doesn't sound, it sounds like I listen to an FM radio broadcast. But there's those hints of like sub bass. Like there's feels like there's a capable driver. In the PC38X, if it does use the exact same driver as this, which I haven't researched much, I just took the guy's word on it. Like, yeah, they use the same thing for this. The fucking PC38X is a fundamentally better headphone because it's designed to deal with the driver and not to be a robot fucking sex monkey thing. It, I, don't, I don't understand what this is trying to fucking do as far as looks go. I almost rather see RGB. And I thought this was gonna be cool, but in person it's just like, oh God, no. Sennheiser, please. I got I got a fucking Edifier gaming headset here, the uh, G4. And it's RGB, it's USB and RGB. It is um, fucking amazingly good sounding. It's just RGB, but at least it has a switch also to turn that off, but it's also USB, so it's like, ah, eh, we'll get to other gaming headsets. Because I'm just warning you, that's a good one. Oh, Zeus, you like everything. Yeah, but why am I hating on Sennheiser? Which could be sending me many other products. So I have no reason to hate on them if I want to maintain a relationship, even though this is something my user. Maybe Sennheiser's not watching this. HE1 is great. Um, and I'm going to actually throw some appraise towards that gaming headset because it, it accomplishes way more than I thought it could. This accomplishes way less than I thought it could. So, bad review. That's why that girl's chucking the D at us. That's supposed to be a monster energy drink, but it's the letter D. The uh, Oh, I did the sound demo before this, by the way. Because, like, the first listen, 
the first real listen I gave these was before the sound demo. Because that's sometimes if I'm just doing sound demos, I do nine in a row. And if I got a headphone, especially one that doesn't need to be broken in and used, I just say, all right, I'll re record this. So I put it on and I play it before the sound demo. And, you know, I get like a general taste of it so that when I put it on the block, I can put my, my Neumann NDH20s on and sort of get it positioned to sound correct. These sounded, I did it with this pads, by the way, the worst pads, um, for reasons. Uh, these sounded too good on the sound demo. And I, I will usually correct a headphone in post if I, if I know the, the recording rig, because it's, it's not a, it's not a perfect science. Uh, like plain arts, you usually have to cut the low end in the recording so it doesn't affect the microphones because of the magnets. And I will then put an apply like a, a standard curve to the thing at the end. I spent no less than 40 minutes longer than i've spent on any headphone in post in audacity throwing equalization curves at the recorded headphone to make it sound as bad as the headphone sounds and i i'm not lying i have on my desk there i've got the uh, the motu m2 so the 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 the, the uh interface and i have that outputting from the back into the su9 which is getting its review and the motu m2 had the neumann ndh20s on it the ones i recorded with and then the su9 had this on it so that i could literally go back and i had the original song open and then i had the recording of that song and i would swap headphones to try to make the to edit the the the, the equalization to make it sound as shitty because i didn't want people going oh this isn't so bad it's just the sound demo sounded pretty great the sound demo lies sometimes sometimes it it almost never lies until like this sounds better than it does no no that's wrong it sometimes lies in that direction it doesn't lie the other way around well that's wrong too because the fucking sound demos just they don't fucking do whatever they want but i wanted to make fucking sure that everyone wasn't listening to this on the sound demo and going oh these aren't that bad they are that bad. They are that bad, and I fucking made sure you heard it with rigor, more rigorous than on than the 009s. I'm gonna sound them on them. However they come out, they come out. I guarantee you, it's not gonna take me 40 minutes of fucking with it to to give you what those sound like. These I had to beat that. Like no, no, no. It sounds more hollow. It sounds way more hollow and out of phase. That's another thing. It sounds so narrow that it almost sounds like like there's a phase problem. I can't. I can't even. I can't even. We've gone over the build. It does this thing with the mic where it goes unmute, mute. That's fantastic. I don't even hate this volume control. It's so smooth. It's big and it completely blocks the driver. And then it looks stupid when you're wearing it on your head and it looks like that. That's that's just dumb. That's the dumbest fucking shape ever. I hate this shape. Headphones should not be... Uh, at least what they've done here at least allows it to still go up and down. Because the headband... Well, that's all the way down. The headband structure reaches... It's like... If I straighten this out, it'd be 20 inches long. Because it has to go straight out and down. I don't understand. What's wrong? What's wrong with like I like the high feminine headbands. People are like, oh, these these ones, the drop ones, the old school ones. Everyone hates these and they like swap it out. But I like these. You know why? Because when you put it on your head like that, that's how much of it touches the top of your head. You get like fucking four and a half inches out of like it could be like an inch more, maybe, because it, it it barely flexes when you do that. Look, it stays the shape of a human brain, and it's low profile. The other ones come up, and they're a big fucking tower with a strap. <sighs> Stay. Buy those instead. Those are those are cheaper than. The, I, mean, I shouldn't even go to the price. I'm gonna go to the price. And I'm gonna end this because I, I need to do other things today, and I. I as much as you guys love fucking bad reviews, reviews of bad products, $192.71 for the 500. Regularly 229. GSP 600. So a better one, supposedly. $184.95. Regular price 250. So it actually is on a bigger sale than the six than the 500. So the 600 costs less. And then if you jump up here, wait, to the GSP 670, which doesn't offer a red features one, it's only black. And it's a slightly different cup like design. Like the shape's the same, but it's like, that's 289 regularly 320. 
but it's Bluetooth or wired. So you're going for the, you're getting that jump in price to just Bluetooth. So I'm imagining that's the 670 is just a 600 up to Bluetooth standards, which is not great. Using, like it says it uses low latency Bluetooth. Most gaming headsets that do wireless are the cloud flights. Zio, I'll link the cloud flights in the description. Those use a proprietary little dongle that you plug in so that there's a zero latency because it's not using any protocols that have to have latency. But, you know, if you're going for a wired headphone in like the 280 range, I will point again, I purchased this September 20th, 2019. Bear Dynamic MMX 300, second generation. It's a wired headset with a mic. It's a closed back. So, I mean, if you want an open back, then you're going to have to deal with some shit. But if you want a closed back, MMX 300. Stop this shit. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Sennheiser. I know, I, I know they're selling them. Because Did you see how many reviews there were on the 500? 445 ratings. Now, there's 445 ratings there. There's 977 ratings here. And there's 319 ratings there. So they're selling... How many percent of people actually rate their fucking shit on Amazon? 10? 10 seems like a lot. 10%? Even if it's 10%. There's 4,500 pair. There's 10,000 pair. They're, they're making their money. It's just, I wish gamers would rise up. Rise up, gamers! And demand to not be treated like fucking children who have the worst taste in things ever. RGB should die. I have no problem with, like, coloring. Like, ooh, put a color in there. But, like, blatant, like, like rainbow? Holy shit. Is everyone a brony? Nothing wrong with being a brony, by the way. Although Powerpuff Girls would still be my pick. But, like, happiness and rainbows in everyone's computer... Where's the hardcore gamers? Where's the anime waifu gamers? Anime waifus don't need RGB. They bring color to your to your soul. Anyway, I'm done with this. I guess I'll link these. I, I guess I kind of sounded my thing. I will link, however, the PC38X, the 5XX. Um, what else did I mention? I'll even I'll mention the Edify. Whatever Zeus watches this video after he's done, he downloads it, he re-encodes it, he fixes the color and brightness and contrast. Then he uploads it to YouTube. Then he rewatches the whole fucking thing. Hi, Zeus in the future. I hope you're feeling well. Thanksgiving's close and no one's gonna see you. It's very sad Thanksgiving this year, by the way. I don't know, we're way past that for you seeing this. Um But then in the description will also be the sound demo. And you can go check that out because I worked really hard in that sound demo to really try, really try to capture the fail of these headphones, and I couldn't even do it because I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to invert phase. And... Well, I'm gonna put these in your litter box, but they're not mine; they're someone else's. Anyway, uh, my cat's adorable. Support her on Patreon and subscribe, Star. Yes, you are directly related. I'm going to use you, baby, and your adorableness to keep this house afloat. Um, Patreon subscribe to let you see these reviews early by a few days to a week. Uh, you could ask me questions on platform. However, we are still trying to figure out a better way to do that because I can't keep up with it. Um, actually, there is a better way to do it. You just join the $10 tier and then you get to the private behind the scenes Telegram chat where I answer it with my voice. Real easy. There's a, 200 people in there that can help answer the question for me, if you don't like their answers, you just at me, and the, the, boom, I'm there for you. Um, participate in the yard sales. What is she chewing on? I hear plastic crinkle, and I worry. Um, yeah, participate in the yard sales. Ask me questions on platform. See these videos early, or jump to the $10 tier. Patreon and Subscribestar have the same benefits. Subscribestar is a, a little better. It's a little better as far as fees. And now, and then, yeah, so I think we're good. And then, oh, Hi-Fi Guides and Hi-Fi Guides the Forum and Hi-Fi Guides the Toilet Paper. Don't forget to check those things out because the uh, actual audio form instead of YouTube comments is, is, as long as you know how to, like, take people's advice and not freak out about it or buy everything they say, like, don't buy everything I say, God. Be fucking broke. Um, yeah, we're good. Wallpaper also download in the description. I'll see you tomorrow for the sound demo and then the day after that for another review.